Hey guys, what's up? It is Sunday. So right now I'm getting ready to film. Let me show you guys what it, the process is because it's a process. First off, I have this little box and I'm trying to like gather all the items I'm going to need for this video in this box so they're easy to find. And then for filming setup, we've got like just the background semi-clean and then we've got a light there and then in front of me, camera and a ring light and then over here is another light and a bub hi bubby grammy gremlin hi you're so sleepy huh so i'm just going to get the space kind of put together and then i'm going to go ahead and start filming but it's just such a process like i was up at 9 30 this morning which is a little late um and I was like, okay, I know I want to film, and then I had to clean up this room and like get everything together. So I'm just gonna go ahead, make sure I'm prepared. So filming the video will hopefully only take like 30 minutes. Um, I tend to like to have like 30 minutes or less of footage, especially when it's a talking video, um, because then it's a little easier to um, upload. And this will be the video that's going up on Wednesday. So by the time you guys see this, you'll already have access to. The new video and I will link it here um, but it's my teen of 17 I think it's your like best or favorite 17 items of 2017 so there's a lot of stuff on my list that you can't like touch and see um, so I'm gonna get together the stuff we can look at also little known fact about me I love watching scary movies while I clean or get ready for something and so that's why I'm watching Jeepers Creepers <laughs> Yay! The third one, by the way, which was only out for one day. Did you guys know that? It was in theaters for one day, one Tuesday. When your mom makes you smile for a picture and you don't want to take it. In true YouTube fashion, I'm wearing like a cute top and then I'm wearing some leggings with this nice hole in it and some uh, mocks, so. Alright you guys, so happy beginning of vlog number three. I actually think that um, probably the first part of this vlog was me getting my makeup done for today. But it is officially January 15th, which means it is Martin Luther King Jr. Day. If you're any human who has civil rights, 
take a minute. Remember today. Remember the man. Don't just take it as a day off. I'm trying to be more reflective this year, right? That's all I keep talking about. But um, yeah, so today, even though I have work, I was gifted a ticket to this MLK luncheon that's held in town. Our um, featured speaker is Tamron Hall. Um, she is a broadcast journalist. She was a TV show host. She was on NBC News, I believe. So yeah, she's gonna be here today doing um, some uh, doing a speech which is really really cool um, she's the keynote speaker today and that's awesome so I'm gonna go in I'm hopefully gonna get some footage because I feel like that'll be a cool thing to do and then today is also the first day of the River Plex extreme program boot camp is tonight I'm nervous sweet baby Jesus God why have you forsaken me all right, you guys, I just finished that workout. I'm hurt, I'm like personally attacked. You know what, the thing is, when you haven't been working out consistently and you go into a class and the class is like, hey, we're not fudging around, we're jumping into it, hitting it hard, don't you just feel like, is someone trying to murder me? Someone is trying to take me out and inherit all my family heirlooms, like my Starbucks gold card and my down comforter. Ain't gonna happen, okay? You guys, the workout was really good, but it was super hard. I'm totally spent, but I feel good. Like, <sighs> my chest kind of hurts, but I'm happy that it's over. I'm gonna go home. We're having salmon, we're having rice, and we're having hopefully roasted broccoli. Um, broccoli, why did I say it like that? What is wrong with me? Also, can we talk about the, the hood on this coat? I feel like the killer from that movie. What movie was that? Oh, you guys don't remember the movie, Are You Too Young? What killer wore a big hood in the movies? It's the guy from Urban Legends. Actually, it was the girl, spoiler alert. All right, you guys, dinner is served. We've got rice pilaf, that sweet and sour pork stuff, and some roasted broccoli. It all looks so good. I obviously have tried it because I have zero ability to wait until I film what I'm eating. I don't do that. I don't know how people do that. I don't even know how you take a picture without actually trying it first. <clears throat> but I'm gonna go ahead, start editing. I'm starting to think these vlogs are a bit repetitive. <laughs> but I'll check in with you guys later. Sorry, I feel like such an idiot. That's okay, I accept your apology. I owe you at least that. You also owe me 16 bucks for the dry cleaning you stuck me with. <laughs> you still have my Armani suit? Sorry, caught fire somehow. <laughs> it is much, much, much later on Wednesday. No, it's Tuesday. Sorry, my days are all <clears throat> mixed up. It is 6 o'clock right now. Um, I'm a little bit bummed because there was supposed to be a thank you event, or there is a thank you event, kind of like a belated Christmas party at my job and I did not feel well today so I didn't go to work I just started feeling better about an hour ago and the thank you event ends at 6 I'm pretty sure so I'm obviously not going to that either so um, a little bit bummed I'm missing that but it's important to take care of oneself first luckily it doesn't seem like I'm going to get sicker like I think it was just a really bad bad headache um, which I get a lot, uh, more like a migraine. So, um, in mine, I don't know, I'm not able, some people are able to like work through them and I'm just, I'm just not. Like I said it's six and I'm feeling a lot better. So I think what I'm going to do now is put away, um, some of my filming equipment that so I'm watching Living Single it is a great show. I think they just recently put it on Hulu. So good it's so funny it's from like the 90s I'm pretty sure um, it's about four black girlfriends who live together all of the funny stuff that goes along with that I think I really have to clean up my office and I may do a little bit of a clean with me and just set you guys up on the tripod that may kind of motivate me to get some of this done so
Yay! It is clean in here, you guys, and like actually clean. I got rid of a lot of stuff. Even Bub's chilling. Bub, you chilling? You chilling, Bub? You brought your hot dog, didn't you? You wanted to bring your hot dog to the party because we only got, if you guys can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven toys. So, you know. Eight truly is a better number. I figured I could show you guys some of the things that I picked up from Ulta. It seems like every time I'm like about to only order a few things, I'm out of every single thing. So, this box actually came last week from Ulta. And I've used a lot of the stuff in it. Well, most of the stuff. So, I was inspired by... Um, just looking through some skincare favorites and I have a video coming up that's going to be about um, high-end skincare but also drugstore skincare and I noticed that I didn't really have a ton of items that I really loved from the drugstore and so I started researching ingredients and items that might be similar for skincare I ended up picking up the Neutrogena Hydro Boost line so I got the um, water gel moisturizer, Hydro Boost hydrating serum, the Hydro Boost eye cream. I'm hoping that all of these items work really well together. I like the gel formula. My camera keeps shutting off for some reason. So the last thing I got was this J Cats um, Hollywood eyeshadow palette. Super pretty. Actually, the look that is in my Wednesday video this week, which is the best 17 items of 2017 this is what I use to achieve that look I will see you guys tomorrow hopefully feeling a little better and um, yeah bed bath and beyond I'm coming for you boy from the grocery store, back from Target, Bed Bath & Beyond. Bub, come here, you wanna be in the vlog? <gasps> Look! And then off to the side. Twitch gang, Lil Pump, gang gang, gang, gang gang gang, gang gang gang. Twitch gang, Twitch gang, Twitch gang, Twitch gang. Spend $100,000 on Twitch gang. My big dude cocaine, Gucci gang. I hate you. Is that the words to the song? That's it. No, it's There's not. Two to that shit. Anyways, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. it's not Gucci Gang. It's a uh, little pump. It's not little bang bang. It's not bang bang. It's uh, bang bang. What's your name? Hi guys, it's Friday. I have been on the struggle bus this weekend. This week, I'm at work right now, finishing up my day, and right after work. I'm heading up north to like Chicago-ish area because my friend is having a bridal shower tomorrow. So, and right now I'm gonna go ahead and um, get my hotel room. So it's tonight when I'm staying there. I'm pretty sure I use Priceline. Yes, and I always use express deals and I just type in like where I'm going. Um, I just go in and I look. The only thing is if you wanna pick like a specifically a suite or something, you can't. Um, <clears throat> but the rooms are way cheaper. So 
Here is a 4.5 star hotel for 76. If I pick the right hotel, then when I'm out there, I maybe can go like to Ikea or whatever. I probably mentioned this earlier this week. I just feel like this weekend is really needed for me to get away and this bridal shower is giving me an opportunity to get away from all the stresses of my home life right now like all the cleaning and all the little chores that i'm like oh my gosh i have to get done when you're gone you can't do anything you know like there and you can only focus on the things that you've brought with you or the things you want to work through and i'm bringing my video and my meditation app and book and i'm just gonna chill like i'm gonna enjoy myself tomorrow um is the bridal shower and that's at like one so i'll be able to get up early to spend the day to myself so um today i'm also getting my entire face wax she's gonna do brows lip chin and we're also gonna do just like face so my makeup should look bomb after this well not bomb right after after this it's gonna look crazy but you guys know what i mean hey guys all right it is friday it's after work and i'm feeling very like thankful that it's the weekend but you also know like i don't know if it's just me but i have a little bit of anxiety about the weekend like going into a new week there's stuff that i kind of wasn't able to wrap up this week and there's things that i i need to take charge of that i don't know how to take charge of them and so in those aspects i'm kind of i'm a little bit anxious to get some of that work done this weekend but i do think that when i take the time to like sit down and think about it your girl's gonna be okay so first off shout out to shelby I have like totally a foundation line, but you can't judge me because she waxed my entire face, you guys. I got brows waxed, lip, chin, whatever, this chops. I got my chops waxed and I just feel like a brand new woman. So I know my foundation looks crazy, but I don't even care. <sighs> right now, um, it's about five o'clock. I'm about to drive to Schaumburg, check into my hotel and call it, you know, just like a chill weekend, um, like a solo weekend, which <clears throat> I'm not really somebody who's ever done that before for myself, like had a solo weekend just for me, but I think it's very important. And so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna listen to the No Sleep Podcast. I'm listening to uh, YouTube videos. I like to do that too. I'm just gonna like chill. I'm just gonna, so yeah, I think what I'm gonna do now is just go ahead, drive on out there. By the time I get out there, probably be at least eight o'clock. And then um, I probably won't go anywhere tonight since most stores close at nine and I'll probably be tired from the drive. But I think, um, Tonight I can start editing a video, maybe get some room service. I don't know, girl. We're about to live our best life tonight. And fingers crossed, I'm putting it out into the universe that there's a bomb-ass bathtub in this hotel room. Keep your fingers crossed. Send your prayers out into the universe. We'll see if it works. the hotel and this one is so freaking nice i don't know if i've ever stayed in a renaissance coliseum convention center before but first of all it's huge but it's like one that has an open atrium so you can look down and see i'm gonna try and go to the gym in a little bit but i wanted to give you a tour of my room because it is kind of bomb like this room is so nice i'm like walking around like pushing buttons trying to see what everything does first off you walk in here's like the view anybody else do what i do and just like throw all their stuff immediately like i immediately ruin the room that's my deal that's what i like to do so here is the bathroom bed bed tub lord bathtub shower all that jazz the toilet oh my gosh you guys this is the coolest part so see that remote over there i was like why is there why do they leave the tv remote in the bathroom y'all 
there's a TV in the mirror. Oh, uh, what? It's so cool. I'm, I'm like, I'm living for the TV. This is goals. Add it to my dream board. Um, okay, so closets that I literally never use. Really could care less about that. But um, then they have this nice, like, um, drawer situation with a TV where you can watch. I don't know if you guys can see this. You can watch Netflix, YouTube, shout out. Hulu, yes, yes. And they have this nice, like, desk area and this chair is like high and then they have this wireless speaker I mean this place is nice and one of these crazy like so fancy touch lamps and then over here I've got like a nice little loungy area and then I picked the king bed for like the first time and look at this light over here it's like a tall cylinder and what cute art do they have they have like this dandelion thing they've got like this like blue car mirror like a little bow with some dots so I think what I'm gonna do though is like hang up my coat like a civilized human being I'm gonna wash my face because straight up I went into a gas station and I saw like you guys can still see it like how my foundation goes straight down and I was like I straight up look like a crazy person <laughs> so I'm gonna wash my face just because it'll feel good anyways and just unpack a few of my things like I'm probably gonna take my makeup out and just set it out get my laptop out cuz I'm gonna do some editing tonight I'm gonna look at the room service menu <sighs> I'm gonna look at this little breakfast thing that I never do okay so this is little thing you hang on your door where they like ask you what you want to eat let's look at these prices have you ever like seen them and it's like $23 for oatmeal and you're like what the freaking frack oh these aren't too bad it's like a sandwich is $10 I mean trust me like it's not good but it's not like $25 for like an egg or whatever I went somewhere once where like the oh it's Vegas like a simple breakfast was like $50 and I was like yeah no but I could do this and then get my breakfast delivered to me like super oven early how cute is that let's see what room service is like 20 minute all right 20 minutes uh are they environmentally friendly all right this sounds amazing you can straight up get just like a three cheese grilled cheese oh my gosh dang zach would be so bummed because this food is kind of bomb they also have a rice bowl wow that seems healthy a farro salad with peas, asparagus, peas. Okay, that doesn't sound right. That ain't right. Okay, so I'm gonna look in these little like information things because I'm sure it'll tell me somewhere where the workout place is. And I figure since it's Friday night at like almost nine, like everyone will be in there. So it'll be popping. Um, so I can go get a workout in and then Tomorrow I can get up early, have some breakfast, chill out, and tonight I'm just going to work a little bit and I'm going to enjoy myself. I'm going to treat myself. Yo, 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 I'm coming at you with that post-workout glow. Actually, don't look too close. <laughs> so I just got done with my workout. It is 9.46. It was a good workout. I actually ran on the treadmill, which is like a huge step for me because I don't like people seeing me run on the treadmill like legitimately and I feel like there is this just like unspoken rule about our bodies and if they don't fit into the norm of like what an acceptable body is then you feel like you have to police it for other people right like for me I feel like I used to always feel like well oh gosh like you know if you hear people say comments like nobody wants to see that in a swimsuit or nobody wants to see that jogging first of all you're a person so don't let anybody refer to you in in just like a generic term you are a human being um so and also i feel like that's such an antiquated way of addressing people and also today in the gym i was like boo boo i'm trying to work on myself i don't have time for what people feel about me especially like i'm at a hotel today and especially people who like i'll never see again but really truly if there's somebody out there who's really trying to throw shade at someone who's like trying to better themselves like even if i went down there trying to lose weight like i was just like i like to run it makes me feel good burns a lot of calories we'll keep it pushing if you need a vote of confidence today 
it's your girl Brittany and she is telling you that you are worthy and amazing and fantastic enough to do whatever kind of workout you want to do or whatever kind of activity you want to do because I'm there for you in the background cheering you on them go you go you go you seriously go you I'm gonna work on my video and then I'm just gonna like let myself be chill like I can't do anything about stuff that's gonna happen in the future uh, so you know what can I do I'm really gonna try not to dwell on it and once I work on my video I'm about to order some room service at first I was like okay there's no dessert menu here it's not a big deal but then I found it and the dessert menu isn't like my traditional like I'm, I'm a chocolate girl for sure but they have key lime tart, mixed berry tart, tiramisu, homemade ice cream, and German chocolate mousse cake. So first of all, your girl doesn't like German chocolate cake. The, the nuts and the coconut and the gooey, come on. Chocolate is okay, it can stand alone. Uh, homemade ice cream, it's not really my thing. Like I'm not really an ice cream fan. Like I like ice cream, but it's not my go-to dessert. Um, especially for room service, you have to like eat it first, which struggle tiramisu is okay not my favorite key lime mm -mm. but this mixed berry tart like maybe i'm gonna hop in the shower we're gonna get it going i'm gonna turn that tv on in the bathroom because that's legit too legit to quit thanks mc hammer bye upside down roller coaster oh my god jesus is looking out for me tonight because Legitimately, the Mr. Pooper episode. What is this called? Oh, I can't remember, but it's my favorite episode ever. I'm doing something right. All right, you guys. So I'm currently doing a little editing, editing realness, um, and I'm sitting in this big king bed, like living my best life, looking for sports movies because um, I'm watching on my phone. Uh, Nicole, I was just I was watching her vlog and she did a Vikings um, like recap of last Sunday's game. You guys, I'm not a sports fan. Wouldn't even have seen that game if um, I didn't go over to my boyfriend's to celebrate our belated Christmas with his family. And it was honestly like the game was kind of boring until the end, and then you were like, "Oh, look at them pulling out all the stops!" And it was literally crazy. But now I'm in the mood to watch Remember the Titans, so I can cry. But apparently, Netflix does not value Remember the Titans. Okay, so if someone from Netflix is on this, <laughs> come on, come on, and all these movies that are in football movies. They're trash. So I'm sure they'd all make me cry, but that's not the point. But what I wanted to show you guys was not any of that stuff, but how I am living my best, best life. A la carte, dine in, dine out. How cute is this? Like, look at this little, little thing, little black knives. They brought me two, cause they trying to throw shade. Cause I ordered a lot of food. Well, oh my god, look at this cute little salt and pepper shaker. That's mad cute. I like that. So we've got some pita chips. Oh, this is a lot of pita chips. Okay. Ooh, hummus, celery, olives, which a girl ain't touching, but the hummus for reals. This is my berry tart. All right, a girl can get down. A girl can get down with the berry tart for real. And then, dang. Okay, I maybe did order too much food. Uh-huh, but that's two sandwiches in one. It sure is. So I'm about to nosh. I think I'm going to end up watching 42 because that is on um, here. So makes me cry just the same. And I'm going to edit my video, eat, and chill out, y'all. So I think I'm going to end the vlog for tonight. And um, this actually might be the end of this week's vlog, but I am going to bring my camera around with me this weekend because I have some cool stuff going on. And I think it might be fun for you guys to see like what I'm going to do out here. I'm near Woodfield. I'm near like my, I'm near Chicago. I probably won't go to Chicago, but I may go hang with my family. So I will see you guys in the next one. You're the best. Remember, you're the best. Okay, bye guys.